Hey, what's going on today, guys? My name's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. And today is a very much anticipated day for me personally, and I know for a lot of you guys. This right here is my Desert Runner Off-Road Pre-Runner style bumper. I'm super excited to be able to get this guy mounted onto my truck. Um, I did have to wait a couple of months, but that's a great thing for Desert Runner Off-Road. They have just absolutely been crushing it when it comes to providing amazing off-road products, aftermarket products for Nissan Frontiers, as well as Xterra's. I think they make a few parts for Pathfinders as well. And they also even make parts for tacos as well so they don't just do work for nissan they also do some great stuff for toyota as well so let's get this guy open i'm actually going to be painting it black and before i do that you know i'm obviously going to inspect it i'm going to clean it up make sure it you know had a safe trip from cali here to hawaii um i have nothing but great things to say about the experience overall their customer service is just through the roof and so i'm super excited to get this guy opened up so stay tuned this is going to be a good one Sarah, Nathan, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being extremely thorough in wrapping this thing. But holy shit, you guys wrapped the hell out of this thing. It took forever to get the wrapping off. But that just kind of lets you guys out there know that they do take a lot of pride in the work that they do. Um, this is probably one of the most secure packages I've ever received. It took forever to get <laughs> this thing open. But um, let's get back into the unboxing. Here it is. Finally got all that bubble wrap and crazy packaging off. And guys, I am super excited. I've been telling everybody about this from my fiance to my mother-in-law to my mom, my dad, my cousins. I've been telling my coworkers. I even told the milkman. Like I literally told everybody how excited I was about this because it's gonna completely transform the front end of the truck. And eventually I'll kind of move to the rear of the truck and make some modifications there. But I wanted to start off in the front and I'm super excited to be able to get this guy mounted. Um, it, it is literally flawless, you know? I'm not a metal works guy by any means, but this thing just looks beautiful. Um, I don't have any complaints at all. The welding looks pretty stunning. So shout out to um, Nathan for just absolutely crushing this build. Um, I'm super excited. I know I've said that like a thousand times, but I cannot wait to get this thing mounted. All right, guys, so here goes the bumper. I actually just spent the last hour going through finding any little imperfections and removing those. I did decide to use a 220 grit sandpaper to get rid of those imperfections, but there weren't too many. Um, but I'm such a perfectionist that I just decided to go through it as many times as possible. And I did give it a degreasing as well. So I'm super duper excited with this bumper. It looks great. I'm actually about to just give it a quick hose down and then I'm gonna let it dry for a good hour or so. And then I'm actually gonna start to apply the paint. So let's get into it. So the bumper is completely hosed down. I'm gonna let this guy air dry for the next hour. So I will see you guys soon. All 
All right, so an hour has gone by and now I'm actually going to start prepping the bumper. Um, I decided to go with the VHT roll bar and chassis paint. There is no primer needed at all whatsoever, um, but I just wanted to thank Dolly Cruz from the Nissan Frontier Club Facebook group for giving me this idea. Um, I have been struggling for a few months to find a good paint that I think would go good with the bumper, but um, after reading the reviews and getting some good recommendations from some people online. Um, I did decide to go with this paint here. So let's uh, get into it, guys. All right, guys, once again, sorry about the wind. So got the first round of paint done. I'm not a Pablo Picasso by any means, um, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm obviously gonna have to go back and clean up some of the imperfections. I'm gonna add a second coat in probably 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna let this bad boy sit for two hours, and I'm gonna come back and add a third coat and uh, we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so I just applied the third coat of paint to the bumper. It looks really nice. I know it kind of looks a little bit uneven, but that's because there's still some parts that are drying. Um, I'm gonna let this chill for the next day or so. And once it is dry, I may or may not add a final coat of paint just to even it out a little bit more and add that nice glossy look. Um, and then when that's all said and done, I'm gonna be mounting the bumper. Um, so stay tuned. All right, so here's the finished product. We're gonna head over to the shop right now and we're gonna get this thing mounted. Um, I do actually have to go to work first, but as soon as I get off, I'm gonna head over to the shop and we're gonna get this guy mounted. All right, guys, so I just wanted to make this video real quick. I did go ahead and just chop the bumper off. Now, I do need to make a quick disclaimer. So Nissan Frontiers have two types of bumpers. They have plastic bumpers, which is the one that I had. And then they also make a metal slash steel bumper. Um, the deconstruction process is gonna be a little bit different for both. So for plastic bumpers, you're going to need to use a saw or a Dremel and you're gonna need to cut along the false seam of the plastic. And as you can see, I've done that here. Doesn't look too bad. I went ahead and sanded out some of the, the uh, defects and imperfections as well. So came out pretty good. If you do have a metal bumper or steel, whatever the one is from factory, you will need to remove some tabs and then it will basically just come off. So you don't need to worry about cutting at all whatsoever. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of change of plans. We're actually back here at base camp at my house. Uh, my buddy's shop is now closed due to COVID, unfortunately. Um, and plus they are really not having too many people coming in with car issues because nobody's really on the road. Um, so I just wanted to answer a couple of questions or address a couple of things before we got this guy on. So first things first, um, this install is gonna be super simple. The only thing that we're gonna be doing is unbolting um, this bash bar, crash bar, whatever you wanna call it from the bumper itself. And then this guy's actually gonna just bolt right on uh, with the stock hardware. So you don't have to worry about going out and purchasing anything additional or, you know, if you need to reach out to Desert Runner off-road, just know that they're gonna give you simple instructions. They're gonna make it as easy for you as possible to get this guy on. There's nothing required except a little bit of manpower or woman power, or whatever you choose to identify as. Um, and so this is gonna be a super simple install. Really excited to get this guy up. I cannot wait to see the final product. So stay tuned guys. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the finished product. Uh, it took all of maybe five minutes to install, super easy. Um, I really didn't even need to have my buddy here, but shout out to him for coming through and helping out. Um, I am just absolutely in love with this. 
it totally transforms the look of the truck i mean going bumperless was already pretty uh, much of a statement but man this just completely transforms the look of the truck i cannot wait to take this guy off road once covid dies down and uh, i'm super super thrilled and excited um, for the build to continue with this truck so i'm actually about to head over here to uh, the auto parts shop so i can scoop up some uh, bolts so i could line up my license plate on there but man i love it it looks great i love it guys i love it, it looks so good it turned out great um super simple install i have no complaints at all this was totally worth the wait if you guys have any questions at all please let me know in the comments below hit me up on instagram at the hawaii frontier shout out to desert runner off-road sarah and nathan please i will do whatever it takes to ensure that i send as much business your way because you guys are just absolutely killing it customer service is off the charts you know sticking down to the time that you say the work is going to get done it was literally spot on even with all the craziness going on you guys stuck to your word so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of a stretch it took a long time um, i've been working like crazy due to covid so um like i said and as i mentioned in that little statement in the video if you guys have been working or you know if you guys are out there or, or having to leave your house or even if you're in your house i just want to thank you guys for being proactive um i've actually had a, a actually a couple of individuals that i've known including somebody close to me that has actually passed away of covid um, so it's definitely not something that i'm taking lightly and um you know i don't want this to be a sob story or anything like that i just hope you guys are good um truck guys you know we're we're family doesn't matter about the crazy politics of the world or any of that stuff um we all love trucks and it's it's something that we all are able to um universally care about so um, I know that was a little bit of a rant, but thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I really enjoyed this install. I totally love this bumper so much. And if you guys have any questions for me, just hit me up in the comments and ask me any questions that you have about the lift, anything at all whatsoever. Guys, one last thing I wanted to mention before I left, I did just invest in a Canon 1DX Mark II. So um, I'll actually be kind of telling you guys about that camera and I'll actually be using it in the next video that I decide to make. So stay tuned. The photographs and the videos that come out of this camera are so crispy. I've already been testing it out for the last week and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks guys, see ya, bye. Oh. <laughs>